To the men and women of the NYPD, I want you to know I am here for you. And New Yorkers are here for you. I know how devastating this is, the pain that is in your heart this morning. I'm talking about two stories where we see an increasingly vicious criminal acting in these stories. And the reaction to these stories is an increasingly less shocked readership or citizenry. So the first one I was thinking of was a fatal robbery at a Burger King in East Harlem. A 19 year old girl was killed. It wasn't like she got killed because she refused to cooperate with the criminal. She complied and grabbed all the money that was in the registers. The money that was there all added up to $100. After she gave him all the money they had there, he turned around and started to walk out of the store. And then he stopped, turned around, came back, and just shot her in the stomach. Turned around and walked out. I figured that that would be the outrageous part of that story. It outraged me. I figured everybody else would hear that part of the story and just be blown away. Readers react in a very um, kind of outraged, you know, there's a pouring of, of outrage after the story. You'll see it in the comments on the story. You'll get emails. I'll get emails for weeks about this is what they should do with that guy and blah, 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 blah. There is very little of that, almost none of that with the story. I guess this is how you're dealing with it as a city is you're just getting more and more numb to, you know, a rising level of vicious criminal. The next story that I was thinking of was three men were impersonating police officers and robbing a drug dealer and they got $160,000 in cash and three keys of Coke, so almost like seven pounds of Coke. And the important part for me was they handcuffed the drug dealer and were taking him with them. Now, they all get caught eventually. Like I said, no outrage. The three guys impersonating police officers and abducting a drug dealer and taking him out. Nobody had any interest in what they were doing with them. Nobody asked any questions like that. News coverage is about what do people need to know, right? We're not giving them just what they want to know or just what they want to hear. We're trying to provide what's going on in your neighborhood so that you're aware of the state of affairs here, the state of things. The stories that we're talking about were very much trumped by the fatal fire in the Bronx. A lot of people lost their lives. It was a terrible tragedy. The smaller these events become, in other words, the more um, routine fatal burglaries become, the less you know we're interested in it. And then the first job I have this week is about another shooting with two officers being killed and the way that they were shot, again, falls right in, into this pattern that I'm talking about. I mean, the level of the ferociousness of these attacks, the hate, the level of anger that's going on, it's definitely notching up. I'm watching it notch up in New York City. I don't know. I don't know that there is any higher you can go than where we are right now, but time will tell.